Yo, what's up, my homies? This is OC Gangster with a brand new video, and today I'm gonna re be reviewing one of the worst games ever to come off the face of the earth, Call of Duty Ghosts. But really, it's not a review; it's more of a rant. And really, the last review of Black Ops didn't go well, as Chief Thomas K pointed out. I gave away the entire plot, and no one would probably want to play it because of that. And I sh don't know how to do reviews, because <laughs> I don't get the hang of it. But anyway, I'm just going to be giving like bits about why this game sucked so much. So the reason why it sucked is because, oh crap, it was horrible to play. The graphics were horrible. They just mainly focused on the AI system of the game. Yes, it's true. They focused on the AI. They didn't, they put nothing into anything else and they just basically, essentially, did their own version of Black Ops, which is stupid. So basically... <laughs> The story about the campaign is that there's some freaking. It starts off with some bullshit story about some freaking hippy dippies attacking a hospital and some people dying like thousands. Then, like, nine people killed them all and pulled a Spartan thing, you know, when their spears broke, they used their fists and so on and so forth, which was really bad and didn't make any sense. It was completely irrelevant. And then, obviously, some they what happened to that thing, with something happens, you know, some people, freaking, the e European Union moves to South America and starts taking up their oil. Yes, they've got an EU symbol as their freaking flag. I don't know why the hell they have it in the game, the Federation. But anyway, and what happened is that they go and wage war on America and the president's like, meh. So basically, what happens is that they get invaded, America falls apart. And basically they live behind a wall and it's Attack on Titan all of a sudden with guns. Uh, and then what happens is that some really bad uh, stuff happens. There's a captured ghost guy, yada yada yada. I keep on talking about the ghost, yada yada yada. Then he tells some really bad, they get saved. It turns out it's dad bullshit type of thing. And then what happens is that some freaking people, blah blah blah. Then they go into a flashback and yada yada yada. And I haven't played it for so long. But anyway, then there's like some really crap moments, like the Bane bit from freaking that they stole from Batman. They freaking put into this game when Rock goes rare and he falls off the plane, and then they play a bit with the freaking where they say, "Oh yeah, he's watching me. I feel Rock everywhere." And you're like, "You're in a forest, mate. You can't see fucking Rock." And then what happens to make it even worse is that they freaking fight on a hovers train or some bullshit like that. And then you freaking shoot the guy and then it turns out he's freaking alive. He breaks your arm and then he drags you off and you don't say jack shit. And just your brother's just like, Rogan! Rogan! Might as well be shouting Adrian from fucking Rocky. But anyway, that's the story out of the way. Then we got the multiplayer. And the multiplayer is just a hellish pit of hell, right? It is the biggest load of crap I have ever seen. Every map sucks. Right? Alright. And the elements they put suck even more. You know, you have to be freaking, I don't know, you have to get the timing right for the elements to work. The only element that does work is the freaking nuke, and that is very hard to get. You have to kill like a thousand people, and by the time you get it, the match is already over. <sighs> and then they decide to add in dogs into this game. So you've got a million dogs running around doing all the work while people are camping. And it is very, very bad. But they still choose to keep some of their bullshit. <sighs> and the map Stonehaven. Oh, don't get me started on that. It's just hell. Because just try and hold off anywhere in the Stonehaven. And guess what? You get killed. Because it's like Berlin 1945. you got all the Russians just pouring in. Or you got freaking Pavlov's house going over at the farm up in Scotland. Jesus Christ. It's like no matter how, how many freaking charges you put, they just take over it and then they freaking use it against you and the, it just sucks, the entire game sucks. And then they decided to go up to think, you know, they made zombies and black ups, let's put aliens in it. And then you got to buy even more DLC for the effing aliens and the story doesn't even make any sense, I can't even get past Nightfall. Right, there's like a 1 in 50% chance you are going to complete the mission. You will die right at the freaking end. It's like at the crater, you die without the DLC. It's like in the freaking big warehouse, you think, oh, I'm going to buy the Weapon X. I traded my freaking best gun for the Weapon X, and it sucks so much. 
But anyway, that's the game. So anyway, this is one of the worst Call of Duties to ever come off the face of Infinity Ward. I mean, Modern Warfare was brilliant. Every single one of them. Modern Warfare 2 was like the Empire Strikes effing back. It was brilliant. It was amazing. And this, this is just garbage. I mean, Jesus, I can make a better game than this. About freaking, I don't know, like, zombie Nazis fighting Canadian Nazis. Something like that, I don't know. But, I mean, Jesus. But, there are worse Call of Duties. But, there may be a review for those later, I don't know. But, this is like one of the top three worst Call of Duties ever made. There was like Advanced Warfare, that was worse. That was just crap. Then there was Black Ops 3, which was a massive letdown for me, and I wanted to burn it. I got so pissed off with the campaign, I'd stop playing it. But that was because I got stuck. That was because I told you for Tom Stark UK, I didn't need help. But that's, never mind, that's beside the point. But... Anyway, this game is just bad, and I advise you not to get it. It's completely irrelevant to any Call of Duty. I highly doubt they'll be making a sequel. It's really bad. There's no way in hell. The only good thing about it is the achievement carbon face print. That is one of the only good things. I mean, the guns are ridiculously stupid, because no matter what, if you get an SE whatever, then that has high freaking fire rate but low damage, and you got the Remington, and yada yada yada, and it's just stupid. Most of it is knife combat, with maniacs and chicken ops, which is stupid. They've put a massive amount of that crap into it. But it's a really bad game, I advise you not to get it. Peace out, my homies.